What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. And actually right now I'm going to the place where I seen an ad on Craigslist for interior for $200. So I'm about to go check it out. It's time I replace the interior. Cause other than it being tan, it's ugly as hell. My driver's side is ripped. And my passenger side, it's kind of ripped too. So, plus I wanted black seats. And for the rear, for sure they had to be black. For the front, I might buy some aftermarket bright seats or brown. Whichever, but I really want to go with brown because brights are like two grand each and I know I bought the really expensive parts of my car But for some reason I can't buy two thousand dollar seats Each you know four thousand almost like five thousand in total. I can't do that. That's like a really bad investment for me I know it's my safety and everything but also I'm not gonna buy fake bright seats and I'd rather buy brown seats, which is I guess I don't know if it's FDA approved. I don't know if it's FDA Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not gonna spend five grand on bright seats. Maybe later on in the future, like if I ever get like really big on YouTube, then I might, you know, because I might have the money for it. But not at the moment, I can't do that. And Brom, it's kind of cheap. It's, it's a little cheaper than, well, it's way cheaper than bright seats. All right guys, so sorry I couldn't record in there. Literally, there was like four German Shepherds and I didn't want to get bit or nothing. And the owner was right next to me, so I felt kind of awkward. But the interior is pretty clean. It's all black. He's giving me the front seats and the rear seats and the carpet for $200 and for me that's a bet so I'm a cop it. it only has one small tear in the driver's side but it's not something big you know compared to what I have right now and plus it's black so right now I'm about to go home take off my passenger side and I'm gonna take off my carpet and also my rear seats and I'm gonna drive out good it no interior and everything I'm gonna just leave my driver's side so yeah I'm about to go do that Okay, so like I said, my interior is pretty bad. That, I don't know what happened. It came like this. Literally the car, I haven't done nothing to the interior. Just because I wasn't into cars back then. And as you can see, everything is ripped. I'm not gonna show you my driver's side because it's really bad. But this one, you can see this one has a tear. This, oh, this carpet is disgusting. I already replaced the door panels. Um, I had some spray so I could put this back in there. But yeah, like I said, the interior is pretty bad and I've never really messed with the interior it's not my I don't know why I just never did I wasn't into cars back then and the first thing that I wanted to mod was everything outside but yeah it's really bad so for the seats I'm pretty sure everybody has done it before literally I, I want to say it's a size 14 size 14 For this ones, I think it has something right here where you could pull and it literally comes off. I know this ones have like a size 12, I think. But yeah, like I said, it's really simple. So let's just go ahead and do it. I can't believe I have my car like this, I swear. I can't believe it. It's really embarrassing, even for me to show it to y'all. Okay, and now for this one's literally, like I said, it has, oh, it's 14 too. And I think that should be it. So right now I'm taking off my carpet, which is hideous. And you do have to remove the bolt that's right here. But um, everything else seems to be going good. It's pretty simple. I'm just janking it out, literally. <laughs> and now I do gotta take my driver's side seat, which I didn't wanna do, but I will. So right now I'm gonna take off my carpet and I'll show you when I'm done. And also, by the way, Christian didn't show up. He says he's coming, but he's already coming out late when I'm already done. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, let me just take off the carpet. I'm gonna have to take off my driver's seat, which I didn't wanna do, but yeah, I guess it's gonna have to happen. This is for me trash, to be honest. So I'm gonna take out the metal rails and throw everything away. So that's gonna be it. And oh yeah, look at my tear. <laughs> Finally I could go race in Mexico now. All right guys, so these are the seats. Like I said, they're freaking fresh. No tears at all. And this is the donor car, 0506 G35. We are literally taking everything. The seats, rear seats. We're gonna take the carpet. The carpet's pretty fresh. It's just a little bit dirty, but it doesn't really matter. Christian's already taking this one. Okay, so supposedly I was coming 
for the front seats, the back seats, the carpet, which was $200. But <laughs> literally, we took everything from the car. The car that we left off, the donor, literally got it. Because of Christian, I guess. We took off this, uh, this part, glove box, carpet, seat belts. Um, we took the seat belts off too. What else? Um, like literally, my car is gonna be a whole different thing. The only thing tan is gonna be from here. Well, this whole thing right here is gonna be tan. And the stereo, of course. Not this. Oh, not this. We, we actually took this too. And the guy, he actually gave me a good deal again. Everything, literally everything for $300. Which was a pretty good deal, to be honest. I've seen other people try to charge me like almost $600 for everything. And this guy literally charged me 300 bucks. And yeah, you got a lot of things. All right guys, so I'm already removing everything. So the black seats, like I said, they're really clean. It's a penny. The only bad thing is this, which is not really that bad. These are the seats. They're really clean, as you can see. And this is literally everything we took. This is for the back, seat belts, the center, center console. Literally a lot of things. The carpet is really clean too. Another seat right there. So we're almost done, we put the carpet. Now it's time to put all the glove box, the ones from right there. Black seat belts, the rear is black. All right guys, so it got really dark. We didn't even get to finish because this one, which is from the 0506, it doesn't fit with the 0304 stereo, so we can't put it on. We can't put the side things on either. The back seats are already on. Can you see your phone? You can see the back seats already on. We're about to put the front ones, and tomorrow we're gonna go get the 0506 stereo, and we're gonna put everything back. But yeah, that's the only thing that kind of messed us up today. All right, guys. Well, we literally, well, we kind of finished. I want to say, but this is how it looks: black interior, black everything, except for the headliner. But a lot of G35s come like that, which is black interior and headliner is. 10 still gotta fix that center console we're still working with the stereo because literally this everything that everything that's right here couldn't fit with the stereo that i have right now so we're still working on that but other than that we're pretty much done to be honest i'm liking it so far i mean it's black it's way better than my tan my carpet is like almost brand new so it's it's pretty good all right guys so i made it to the shop and this is where i'm getting all my parts from I'm not gonna show the place because I don't think he wants to. I don't think I don't think he wants me to show the place, but yeah, I'm gonna go show you how the car ended. So this is the donor car, and literally we took off everything. As you can see, we took off everything. Except for the door panels, I already have them. But yeah, right now I'm about to take the stereo. <laughs> but this is crazy. I didn't want to take the whole dashboard because it's a little broken. But yeah, this is pretty crazy. We took off everything, guys. I feel a little bit bad because I told them I'm just going to get the seats, the carpet. <laughs> but I came out taking everything. But it's all good. He didn't really mind. All right, guys. So I'm already home. And to remove this stereo and that... There's literally two screws right here, one and one. Um, you do have to take this one off because I guess a part of the stereo, or I guess like the bracket is like under this. And you are gonna have to remove the glove box. I believe, I really can't remember to be honest. But yeah, and for this one, it's literally just clips, which I'm gonna do right now. As you can see, I haven't, done anything because nothing fits all right guys so i'm tired my freaking hair is a mess um yeah nothing fitted so far this whole thing that goes on top it doesn't fit the one on the bottom does the stereo doesn't fit 
Um, the part that goes right here doesn't fit. The air vents doesn't fit either. So it left me with no choice but to go back to the gray one. Which, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. The only thing I am going to be missing is no more heated seats. <laughs> they actually did work. They're connected and everything. So no more heated seats. Um, I'm going to keep this black one, this black thing, you know. Throw this piece to the trash. I don't even want to see it. I'm going to paint my center console black. And yeah, the other pieces that go on top, all the air vents. I'm going to try to see if I can paint them too. This door is black. And this door is painted black. Which is looks the same. So painting is it's almost the same color as the OEM one. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So now I'm in the process of removing every single thing. Well shows the stereo and the center console. This is gonna be the hardest thing, which is removing the freaking lines. Oh my god, I hate doing that crap. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the OEM one for the stereo. So now I know I'm just gonna end the video right now because oh my god, I'm stressed out already. <laughs> just know. Interior fits, carpet fits, whatever. Just not the stereo or anything that has to do with the dash. It doesn't fit at all. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I hope you like my interior, though. Like the black seats. Oh God, I love them. I love them. And for my car being the first gen 03, I have ele electrical seats on both of them. So I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, now I'm just gonna go back to the OEM and. And we should see what happens and by the way for my white pipe i haven't installed it yet because i have an oil leak on my in the bottom of my car yeah guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed my new interior comment down below anything and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one